This is Dave the LED Guru here, and today I'm here to show you the Mars Hydro 192 reflectors, version 1 and version 2 of the donor design plasma modulated. Now what I did was uh, version 1 is on the left here, and version 2 is on the right. Version 1, uh, I've updated it with tri-white, so it has 2700 Kelvin in flowering, it has 3500 Kelvin, and 5000 Kelvin. It also has 630 NM, 660 NM for your reds. It has 440 and 460 blue. Um, yeah, so you'll notice that that one's a full spectrum that hits a targeted NM specifically so that you get your cryptochrome, your lutein production within vegetation when you have your growth switch on. And then you'll notice that even both of these when you hit the bloom switch now um, it's more boosted for like ethylene production, keratin production, uh, zeathin, just more for flowering more so. Um, you'll notice that it's heavier on the red as well, tailored on both spectrums, even though you'll see it predominantly more, more in version 1 because it specifically hits 630 and 660 NM, which is red. Now, version 2 on the right, it utilizes mostly white balance. So uh, anyone that's doing like a CXB Cree Cobb or a Vero 29, Citizen CLU, uh, chipsets, um, this is on par with beating, you know, except for it's got a mix of all three. It has 2,700 Kelvin within flowering, 3,500 Kelvin and 5,000 Kelvin as well. It's got a few 660 NMs, but for the most part, the white balance is clear across the board in a ratio, which... Uh, almost emulates plasma to a degree it, it, it but the only thing it doesn't have is greens it cuts right out at about yellow and then like at about 560 and then like comes back at about like i said 470 when you have your 460 nms on so you have no reflective losses on plant matter due to light loss the efficiency is there because the leds has upgraded drivers as well in both models and I've also reworked the fan structure, so like I said, uh, you turn either or switch on now, the fans run. There's no worry about turning the veg on and then bloom. You can run this thing just bloom, and it's 185 watts per switch now, and you have full tailored spectrum. It's not like you turn the, blue or the bloom on and it's just 630 and 660 and IR anymore. That's not the case. It's full spectrum on both the switches. So what I'm going to do as a demonstration is I'm going to turn both of them on veg to compare. I'm going to turn them both on bloom and then I'm going to turn them just both switches on to show you the full spectrum of the whole panel if you want to utilize full penetration. And uh, with the update in this it increases it about 18% right off the bat on version 1 and it actually reads higher than that. I'm just trying to calculate for sure because with the white balance is kind of giving me a reflective loss with CRI 80 chipset in this. And uh, I used a lower CRI chipset, like I said, CRI 80, to hit more blues and reds within the whites. So you're actually getting blue and red. It's just it's a white chip. So um, different between nanometers and Kelvin, though. If you want to look that up, that's uh, your time, not mine. <laughs> All right. So here we go. I'm going to turn them both on. So the first thing you'll notice, actually, first of all, that I'll show you, is I turn growth on. Hear that? Fans on, eh? Now the biggest problem before was you turn it off, then bloom, fans running. So that that little issue has been corrected. You don't have to worry about if it's veg or bloom on now. But here's a demonstration. So here's growth on both the models. Oh, I didn't plug the one in. Give me a second. Where's my power cord? Right there. So this is growth on both the models now. Like I said, version 1 is on the left. It's got full spectrum with 630, 660 NMs, which you can see the reds predominantly. The blues are actually obtained. You can see the solid blues there. Those are the 440. The 460 NMs are on the corners there. The insides, they're a bit whiter. Or sorry, they're darker, actually. No, they're well, but they're wider. They're 460s. 440s, there's two, and there's one 460. But mostly, like I said, the blues are obtained from the 5,000 Calvins doing vegetative. But you also get red through that balance as well. 
So yeah, 630 nm, 660 nm. You got tri whites with 2700 Kelvin, 3500 Kelvin, 5000 Kelvin. And then you have uh, 440 nm and 460 nm for blues. So that's version one of plasma modulated donor design. Here's uh, donor design number two. This is strictly a white balance. Now, on this panel, when you look real close, especially from up above, it may look like there's blues in it. Those aren't blues. Those are actually 5,000 Kelvins. So it's a mix between 2,700 Kelvin, full spectrum throughout most of the panel. You'll see 5,000 Kelvin and then 3,500 Kelvin as well. There's four of them in each module panel, and that's just on veg alone. So these are running at 185 watts of panel right now. Less than 400 watts between the two. <laughs> and you could almost do a 8 by 4 with this. A little bit less than that with flour because on half power, I'd only assume to be going 3.5 by 3.5 for flour. Vegetative, you could definitely do 4 by 4 or 5 by 5, depending on how high you want to raise it. Like I said, the growth switches are no longer just blue rated, it's a full spectrum now, as you can see. You could flower with that if you wanted. You could actually. It's just a matter of penetrative strength, really. Which full both switches, I, I don't have an issue with. I, I don't doubt that's going to be enough. So, that's growth. Both models. You'll notice now. Units are off. Okay. Fans. Running. Now, the reason for this is because you're going to have your lights on a timer anyways. So when the timer shuts off, fans shut off. But this one, I've wired up differently as well, so no fans actually running. I could do it either way, just doing it as a demonstrated model. Okay, so here's Bloom on both of them now. And this is the revised donor design Bloom pattern. Now, version 1 which is on the left it's predominantly 630 and 660 nm a lot more 660s actually there's only uh, it's 4 to 1 ratio for 660 to 630 but you'll notice that it almost looks like there's blue in there it's not it's 5000 Kelvin again there's one per oh, two per squares so there's eight in total on bloom and then it also has 2700 Kelvin as well throughout it. So you have a mix of 630, 660, 2700 Kelvin, and the odd 5000 Kelvin. Version 2 on the right, it's predominantly 2700 Kelvin throughout the whole thing. It may look white, but like I said, 2700 Kelvin. The ones that kind of look yellow, 3500. And then you have reds, and those are 660s. Those are not IRs. So just a slight spike. You don't need too much more red when you have two versions of white. And then this is with both on. This is full spectrum for both the panels. I'm standing about 8 feet back, and it's, like I said, it's almost 20% greater par radiance right off the bat and you can tell just by looking at the chipset and these how bright they are like it's insane so like I said with full spectrum you get almost six seven bands on the left side you could throw IR if you wanted in but I really don't find it necessary at this point with LED And they're both beautiful. Look at that. You can't even really tell version 2 until you get really close to it. But it, it almost, almost seems brighter than version 1. It's just version 1 is more kind of negated for hitting NM. So you get more reds out of it. And I also threw actually specific NM blues in it. Which you can see the comparison. Anyways, this is a full kind of overview of the two reflectors, the Donor Design Plasma Modulated Series I just released. 
Tell me what you think of it. Any improvements, any changes, anything that you would add or do differently. Yeah, these are going to go into testing soon with a few of the guys from uh, Canada and the States. And we're about to see how well they do. Anyways, guys. Mars Hydro rocking. Kicking that CXB Creekob's ass. What up? Have fun.